Hello everyone, welcome. This is Tarun Malhotra. In this video, we are going to discuss about the curriculum at Killer Academy, and also the why's. That is the reason behind each and every component of the curriculum. Now, the best way to start this discussion would be to reiterate the objective of this program. So, what are we trying to achieve? What's our north star that we are after? In this program, the idea is that we want to help shape engineers who can create massive impact. Now, what are the skills that are required for this? We try to identify them based on our discussions with different industry leaders, and then try to backtrack our curriculum, reverse engineer our curriculum from that understanding. The near consensus in the industry is. that there are two fundamental skills that are most important one you should be a great problem solver and two you should have the technical know how to look at a real world problem model it as a technical problem boil it down as a technical problem and then be able to create a tech system around it now let's delve deeper into each of the modules at scalar academy and try to correlate them with the two basic skills that we talked about the first module at scalar academy is a dsa problem solving module which lasts for about 12 weeks now of course in this module we are going to cover different data structures interesting algorithms and solve so many problems around them but it's not only about this in this module we try to sharpen your problem solving skills so that you can look at an abstract problem draw observations around it break it down into smaller problems in a very structured manner and then aim to arrive at an optimal solution so it's not only about knowing a bunch of data structures knowing a bunch of algorithms solving questions around them it's a step ahead than that so the underlying story of this entire module is going to be to look at any abstract problem identify the constraints there identify mathematically the things that you're trying to optimize for and then within those constraints understand what's the best way to store that data is what kind of a data structure would you want to use is it a data structure that is a common data structure that has been taught to you or would you want to create your own custom data structure to store the data in the way that your question requires what kind of an algorithm are you going to use to solve that problem what kind of a paradigm does that problem fall into can you hope to apply a greedy solution there or does the problem force you to explore all the possibilities and maybe greedy is not a solution there maybe you would want to think about the dp way So what's the structured way of approaching any problem breaking it down into smaller problems and then solving it this is what we are going to focus on it's much more than just looking at few data structures and algorithms and solving problems there it's more about learning the skills of solving any abstract problem trying to identify the places where you can optimize and hope to arrive at an optimized solution now this is one skill that all of you would have seen being tested a lot in the interviews the companies really do care about the problem solving abilities of the candidates and it's not only about the interviews of course in interviews these top tech uh, companies do ask a lot of problem solving questions but even beyond the interviews when you actually get down to work if you are a good problem solver it is very very likely it is closely correlated that you would try to solve any problem in an optimized manner because your thought process would have become like that to identify for optimizations and to create optimized solutions this is a skill that is very difficult to grasp but once grasped is going to help you throughout your career the second module at scalar academy is a module on computer science fundamentals in this module we cover computer networks operating system and databases now these concepts 
are very very important for any software engineer to be able to appreciate the depth of systems around you or to hope to create a end to end system yourself understanding how the internet works and that too from a perspective of a software developer similarly understanding the basics of relational databases that is how would you want to store data how does that data ends up getting stored on the disk why are some operations going to be more costly and why are some operations going to be more optimized understanding how can you build indexes on top of the data and where will those indexes stop helping you understanding all these things from a perspective of a software developer is very very important for you to be able to understand and build systems at scale now a lot of you might have this idea that hey i studied these concepts in my college but in my day to day life as a developer i don't end up using those concepts these concepts were way too theoretical for me to apply them in my day to day life now that is what we try to fix here at scaler academy we are not going to cover these concepts only from a theoretical perspective but rather we will tie that theory with practical implications and implementations after the modules on problem solving and computer science fundamentals we shift our focus towards system design how do you build systems at scale now there are two components in system design and the first component is low level design or how do you structure your code now for systems that scale they see constant iterations of feature additions and modifications for a software system to support that it's very very important that the code structure and the code quality is very good this is why the study of low level design becomes very very important out of all the programming paradigms we have picked up object oriented programming and in the module of low level design we focus on how do you think in the object oriented world how do you structure your code so that it is always open for extensions but closed for modifications how do you leverage different design patterns in your code so that your code quality is great and you can always have multiple people coming in and contributing to your code because of the principles that you have followed while coding that up now i am reasonably sure that we as software engineers would have faced this issue multiple times where you are supposed to add a feature or do some modification on top of an existing code base but then you think to yourself that hey it would have been easier for me if i rewrote this sub module or this piece of code rather than having to make modifications on top of it now this is a classic case of the underlying code not being written with the right structure and not having followed the right coding principles now the objective of this low level design module is going to make sure that all of us know what are the right design principles to follow how do i identify the right classes the right components and how will my code be structured so that it always remains easy to build and collaborate on top of that piece of code this is the underlying charter of the low level design module that we have at scale academy thereafter we move on to the high level design module one of the most interesting aspects of computer science and computer science engineering is architecting systems at scale building a system which can support a few hundred users or a few thousand users is very very different than building a system that can scale to potentially support several hundred thousands of users or or a few millions of users at that kind of scale it becomes very very important to identify each and every components decouple those components and how can those individual components handle that scale and understand the entire flow of your application 
in our hld module we'll focus on all these things in great detail what are the different layers in your system design how do you scale your app server layer would you want your app servers to be stateful or stateless what is cap theorem what are the different trade offs that you will encounter in any system design problem what is a cache what are different kinds of caches that you can have how can you scale your caching system what are message queues what happens at the storage layer what are relationship databases what are no sql databases in the world of no sql databases what are different ways of no sql that are out there in the market we will discuss all of these things in great detail and we will also discuss several case studies that is how would you go about designing a system like facebook news feed how would you design facebook messenger what are the challenges that you will see in designing let's say cora how would you design uber discussing these several case studies after having built a strong fundamental understanding of different components of any system design and different trade offs all of these things together will enable you to look at any system around yourself and to appreciate its design and to come up with a reasonable system design for any problem that you have want to solve using computer science and any product that you want to build that can be scaled without a doubt the hld module will augment your understanding of systems at scale and you will definitely find this module very very interesting the last module of scaler academy is the project building module now whatever computer science fundamentals whatever data structures whatever problem solving whatever design you would have learned over this entire course across these different modules we are going to bring all of that together we are going to leverage all of that together and help you build a major project of your own in the project module you will get an option to select the stream of your choice you can either choose the back end engineering stream or the full stack engineering stream based on whatever stream you choose you will be given options of various tech stacks and whatever tech stack you find yourself to be most comfortable with we will help you gain the basics of that tech stack and help you build a project using that tech stack all this now completes the entire scalar academy curriculum starting from problem solving moving on to computer science fundamentals then discussing design in greater detail and then actually building something of your own beyond of course we also have a bunch of optional electives that you can choose from i will use this platform to describe those electives also the first elective that we have is an elective on advanced data structures and algorithms now of course in our main curriculum itself we cover all the important data structures all the important algorithms so that you will be confident enough to clear interviews of great product companies and at the same time your problem solving ability would be very very strong but if you are somebody who loves this world of algorithms and and problem solving you may consider joining this elective in this elective we are going to dig deeper into some more complicated algorithms and data structures for instance we will discuss a lot more about advanced graph theory we will discuss about network flows we will discuss about kd trees segment trees matrix exponentiation we will discuss a lot about some of these complicated algorithms in this advanced dsa elective the second elective that we have is an elective on concurrent programming now if you aspire to become a great backend developer the chances are very high that you will end up working in some multi threaded environment multi threading allows you to handle a lot more traffic and allows you to utilize your computing resources optimally we are going to discuss these concepts of multi threading and concurrency in great detail along with also discussing how to use concurrency in java in this elective the third elective that we are offering is an elective on product management if you talk to any senior engineering manager 
and ask them to point out one skill that separates top performers in their team from the others, they will invariably talk about understanding the product development process. Of course, a great engineer must have strong technical capabilities, but beyond that, engineers who know not only how to build a product, but also understand what to build and why to build, invariably end up creating the most impact for their organizations, the most impact in their careers. Thanks a lot, everybody. I hope I was able to explain the different components of the curriculum at Scalar Academy along with the electives that we have. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our career counselors and they will get back to you and help you out. Thank you.